Hello student, today's topic is fundamentals of systematic. As we know that the world having the great number of living and non-living organisms. These living organisms can be classified into plants and animals. These plants and animals having the great number on earth planet. So that we have to arrange them in a proper way, in a systematic way. By their morphological character, by their anat anatomical character, physiological, cytological, likewise. So that scientists give a system proper way to recognize them, identify them, classify them, give name of that. Okay, so this system is called as the systematic. Systematic means systema means system. So in systematic, we study the morphology of organism and their relationship. The two organisms which show the similar morphological character, we have to study them in systematics and their relationship. So that is systematics. So systematic is a derived from the Latinized Greek word systema, which means system. And this word give by, given by the Linnaeus, Carlos Linnaeus, who invented the new system, systematics, okay, new classification system that is two kingdom classification right so according to simpson systematic is the scientific study of kinds and diversity of organism and of any and all relationship among them so the next term is a new systematic new means new system means system so new systematic is a science which deal with the morphological, anatomical, cytological, embryological, genetical, evolutionary, paleontological, geographical and evolutionary studies of organism and their relationship. This new systematic is given by the J. Huxley. New systematic also known as the biosystematics. In this system, we arrange the organism including their anatomical, histological, embryological, physiological, cytological, cytochemical, genetical, ecological, geographical, evolutionary aspect also. So this systematics includes the taxonomy, identification, classification and nomenclature and all other aspects of dealing with the different kind of organism and data accumulated about them is also included in systematics so first term is taxonomy so taxonomy is the branch of biology which deals with the identification classification and nomenclature of organism is called as taxonomy in this taxonomy we have to identify the organism classify according to their similarity and dissimilarity uh, classify them into groups subgroups and give the proper name to identify them taxonomy world is coined by given by the apd kindoli in their theory book that is theories element iridila botanics that is theories of elementary biology written by the d kindoli they give the word taxonomy carlos linnaeus who invented the system of classification of organism that is two classification so that Carlos Linnaeus is also known as the father of taxonomy. So identification means we compare the organism according to their similarities and their differences in morphological, anatomical and genetical or many more aspects. Classification. So in classification, we have to arrange the organism in different group according to their similarity and dissimilarity. We have to arrange in their group. Okay, so we have to arrange the organism according to their groups and subgroup according to their similarities and differences. Nomenclature means we provide the unique and universal name to organism like Homo sapien for human nomenclature means we give the proper and unique name which is universally accepted to the animal so that we can recognize them by their name universal name that is binomial nomenclature types of taxonomy in types of taxonomy we have to see morphotaxonomy cytotaxonomy chemotaxonomy karyotaxonomy and numerical taxonomy first of all morphotaxonomy 
so more in morpho taxonomy we have to study the form and structure of organism that is their morphological or their external characters without studying the functional or genetical aspect of them just only look their morphological characters and give or arrange or classify them according to their morphological characters that is morpho taxonomy second one is a cytotaxonomy cytotaxonomy is a classification of organism according to their cellular structure and presence of cytochrome c the cytochrome c is a cytochrome complex which is small hemiprotein found in loosely associated with the inner membrane of mitochondria it belongs to cytochrome c family of protein that is cytochrome c is a ubiquitous protein that has changed a very little over millions of year of evolution it has a common amino acid sequence among many species many species okay in many species we have to see the different kind of cytochrome c with their evolutionary aspect cytochrome c is found in plants animals and many unicellular organism also so we have to study the cytochrome c and we can classify the organism according to on the basis of cytochrome c that is cytotaxonomy next one is a chemotaxonomy chemotaxonomy or this classification in this taxonomy we have to organize organism on the basis of their differences and similarities in biochemistry or their biochemicals present in the cell the, especially the difference in the amino acid sequence in protein we know that the proteins are made up of the amino acid so in on the basis of their similarity and differences in the amino acid sequence that in that have common in the organism that is chemo taxonomy chemo means chemical so we have to see their biochemical characteristics that is chemo taxonomy next one is karyotaxonomy so in karyotaxonomy we have to study their nucleus karya karyo means nucleus okay so according to their okay so we have to arrange or classify the organism according to their nuclear and chromosomal structure present in the cell also in the system of classification we use the information like chromosome number structure of chromosome size shape of chromosome binding pattern of chromosome during meiosis so we have to see the all these aspect to classify the organism next one is a numerical taxonomy in numerical taxonomy we classify the organism according to their numbers provided by their characters or we can say that the numerical taxonomy it is a branch of taxonomy that use the mathematical method to evaluate the observable difference and the similarity between the taxonomic group so all these are the types of taxonomy the next point is levels of taxonomy there are three main levels of taxonomy first one is alpha taxonomy second one is beta taxonomy third one is a gamma taxonomy so first one is a alpha taxonomy alpha taxonomy it also known as the classical taxonomy which concern with the finding describing and naming the organism according to their morphology and evolution so in this taxonomy we have to find describe and give na proper name to organism according to their morphological characters or their similarities and differences next one is beta taxonomy so in beta taxonomy we have to study the level of taxonomy includes or classify the organism in different groups next one is a gamma taxonomy so in gamma taxonomy this it concern with the evolutionary study of organism it is a broad level of taxonomy therefore also known as the encyclopedia taxonomy in gamma taxonomy we it its study is concerned with the biological aspect of taxa including intraspecific population speciation evolutionary rate and trends so all these are the levels of taxonomy so next point is taxon or category so taxon is a group of animal generally group of species the world insect fishes birds mammals in in animals or in plants we can say that algae fungi fern mosses or grass so these are the concrete object of classification 
in such a group of family uh, in such a group of family or population it's called as a taxon so according to simpson a taxon is a group of real organism recognized as a formal unit at any level of hierarchy classification or according to meyer the taxon is a group of any rank that is sufficiently distinct to be worthy of being the assigned to a definite category so that that means the taxonomy okay so taxonomy the mammalia is the name of taxon not of the category okay next point is taxonomic categories since the number of animal and plant species is very large it is not possible to either know them individually by their name or to refer them in the literature this is necessitated arranging them into categories and taxa of different grades then arranging these categories and taxa in an ascending order so that higher category include one or more lower category and higher taxa include one or more lower taxa Linnaeus was the first taxonomist to establish a definite hierarchy of taxonomic category recognizing within the animal kingdom these are classes order genus species and varieties the varieties later on discarded or replaced by the species the first highest taxonomic category is include that is kingdom there are five kingdom there are five known kingdom and all living species are sorted into specific kingdom on the basis of their basic character like types of cell either they be they may be prokaryotic or eukaryotic then their mode of nutrition heterotrophic mode of nutrition autotrophic saprophytic parasitic likewise and total number of cell they may be unicellular or multicellular so different kingdoms are like monera kingdom plantae kingdom fungi kingdom protista and kingdom animalia the next category of taxa is phylum the phylum is group right after the kingdom in the classification of hierarchy the purpose of this label is to find certain physical similarity among the various organism within a kingdom there are various phyla like chordata phylum arthropoda phylum porifera phylum annelida phylum mollusca likewise so in this phylum chordata include classes like phylum chordata include the pisces amphibians class reptilia aves and mammals so next category is class the organism of phylum are further sorted into more classes the class was on the most common rank put forth by the linnaeus there are around 108 different classes in kingdom animalia that were introduced post 19th century proposed by the linnaeus that were followed even today the different classes include class pisces amphibians aves reptilia mammals belong to class phylum chordata so next category is order the organism of particular class are further separated into order it is considered much more accurate than the class there are around 18 to 25 orders of mammalia that are based on classification for example order carnivora that is carnivora accommodate family such as the felidae and canidae the different order are like order carnivora order primata order chitoptera order chitinus likewise so next category is family so after the division of into order then further divided into family it is considered the eighth major taxonomic rank in the classification of hierarchy which can be divided further into subfamilies there are 12 families on the whole in order carnivora this category of taxonomy the living organism share some resemblance among themselves for example the genus of tiger leopard and lion are in panthera and genus of cats that is felis are found together in family felidae where dogs are included in family canidae so next category is genus so the genus or genera is even more specific when compared to family and other taxa the genus form the first name of binomial nomenclature followed by the species name 
the scientific name of any organism is italicized always and it is followed by genus name which has to be capitalized for example homo sapien it is scientific name given to human homo is a genus name and sapien is a species name this taxonomic group consists of several species which have similar characteristic but different from species for example species like panthera for lion leopard tiger and felis for cats next is a species the species is the last and major taxonomic rank which is split even further into subspecies in certain cases this is basic unit of taxonomy and in evolution it is a smallest taxon it is and it is a group of similar group of organism like leo for lion parrot for leopard and tigris for tiger so there are 8.7 million different species of organism on our planet earth each genus name is exclusive and so are species name which can be used for various organism species name should be italicized and never capitalized the name of species of an organism would occupy the later half of its binomial nomenclature a species can be differentiated from other strongly related species based on unique differences in their morphologies so species can be further classified into biological species which is given by the scientist so definition of biological species is the group of actual or potential interbreeding natural population which are reproductively isolated from the other such a group the species which are the animals which can be interbreed to produce the offspring that is species and they differ from the other species let's see the taxonomic hierarchy or classification of species leo that is lion so it belongs to kingdom animalia it is animal having the multicellular eukaryotic heterotrophic mode of nutrition then phylum chordata it is vertebrate animal having the vertebral column okay next one is a class mammalia which having the ability to produce young one that is belong to class mammalia having the air pinnas likewise next is a order from order carnivora carnivora it belongs to they feed on the other organism or they are meat eater next is family felidae family felidae is a family of cats big cats then genus panthera it is a big cat with yellowish animal and species is leo that is lion this is taxonomic hierarchy of lion or taxonomic classification of lion i hope you understand this lecture now see you in next lecture